Eric Ten Hag has lifted his first trophy for Manchester United and very many other players at Old Trafford all at Manchester United have lifted their first trophy for Manchester United because when I look through the play, the lineup today and the match squad that is available, I think it's David De Gea that has a Premier League, he has an FA Cup, he has, he has a Carabao Cup, he has a UEFA Europa League, you get? Luke Shaw has an FA Cup, Carabao Cup, Mm -hmm. Yes, FA Cup, Carabao Cup, and UEFA Europa League. Diego Delo has nothing. Let me count those that have really won some things for Manchester United. Um, Linderov, I think you, Linderov has nothing. Um, who else? Marcus Rashford is one of those that really won the FA Cup under Luis Van Gaal. He won a Carabao Cup under Jose Mourinho and a UEFA Europa League under Jose Mourinho. The same applies to Antoine Martial. He has an FA Cup, a Carabao Cup, and a UEFA Europa League title. That is Antoine Martial for you. The other players that really have won some things for Manchester United, who else there? Who, I think those are the only ones that have really won, who have been the match squad. Have you seen how bad we were as far as winning for Manchester United is concerned? Now, let me read to you those that have just won their first Trebo, sorry, their first trophy for Manchester United. Diego Delo, Aaron Wan Bissaka, Rafael Veran, Lisandro Martinez, Harry Maguire, Linderoff, those are six. Casimiro, Freddy, Bruno Fernandes, Anthony, Sancho, Veghost, um, Sabitza, um, Elanga, uh, Kobe Menu, uh, Zidane Iqbo, mm, Facundo Pelestri, mm, Tom Heaton. You get almost 80% of the squad that has been at Manchester United has been really known having any, any, any medal in their drawer for any trophy won by Manchester United. It shows you how important this is and what a win is for a team known as Manchester United. And here we go, United are the champions of the Carabao Cup and we beat Newcastle by two goals to nil. And we are here to bring you the post-match analysis to show exactly how this game really happened through. And it all started with Wout host in the 13th minute. By going in for that effort, he really did well today. And I think very soon we are going to get the complete the completed or the complete Vego host into the mix. The chance he got that ball and obviously he took the shot with his left foot and obviously it wasn't a bad opportunity for him. And obviously guess what happened? This guy known as Karius really denied him again. He had two shots on target by the way. The other one, this was the first one. This one was the first one. It lacked a little bit of energy because you see, this man was pulling his shirt. Then Clean Tupia was really blocking him. And he was having three players gathering around him almost in a forest of legs that he couldn't really raise to really apply the necessary force onto that ball to go past the goalkeeper. That was in the 13th minute. In the 45th minute, he was released, I think, by Bruno Fernandes. And then he went for a shot with his left foot. And obviously, Karius just tipped it over the bar and it went into a corner. And by that time, it was already 2-0 for Manchester United. That is World Vegfors for you. And for Vegfors today, he has been good. He has been good. And I think you now know why Eric Ten Hag is insisting onto these players. But before we scored the first goal, David De Gea came to our save because St. Maxman... I think it was a cross that was brought in. It went past all of the people here. Maxman ran into this area, found it, and sent Diego Delo back to Portugal. He sat him down and went in for calling effort. And David De Gea pulled that good save. And that was really his first save. And today, he has pulled out close to three, four good saves that have kept United into the game and has gone ahead to keep a clean sheet today. David De Gea has been a superb guy into this beautiful game of football as far as United is concerned. That is David De Gea pulling out that save for St. Maxman. It was in the 31st minute. And then what followed that after? It was us going in to score a goal. A goal from a free kick after Rashford was brought down. Well called in by well called in by a player called uh, it was well called in by uh, Luke Shaw and obviously Casemiro made it and obviously headed it brilliantly past Carriers and obviously that opportunity that was delivered by 
Luke Shaw counted and it went into the back of the net and it was 1-0 for Manchester United. VAR was called in to do the needful to check where he was and the line is here. Look at the foot of Casemiro. It's there. The foot of, I think it's Bootman who plays him in and obviously it was ruled as an onside goal and it went to the back of the net to make it 1-0 for Manchester United and Casemiro is really a beast, guys. And I think... If you talk about Casemiro in this beautiful game of football, he's really untouchable. And he's a leader. You saw him, how he was really leading others. You know, having leaders in different sections of the pitch is another chance that is given to you to win. In the goal, there is De Gea. Central defense, Rafael Varane. Midfield, there is Casemiro. And the forward, there are people like Rashford and Vegos, name it. You get? But the most important positions of the pitch we are really having leaders a goalkeeper a defender and a midfield and you know games of the games games are really lost and won in the midfield note so then then this is what Casemiro did and this is how the ball went past the goalkeeper Karius it was a very good well taken header and Casemiro headed it home Afterwards, it was a Marcus Rashford goal that was denied him by the way to me I believe very many balls have been hit and deflected off the shins or the front boots of players and they've been given to strikers because it's the effort of Marcus Rashford and you never know he was going in for a sliding effort at the near post and it would have found itself in who knew where that ball was going I think it was going in for the near post effort that's it and it deflected off the front boot of Bootman and they gave it to Bootman Steve Bootman and I ask myself where in the world is that why in this why in this world isn't that goal given to Rashford? But it shows you the importance of Rashford half fit. We all know that he was half fit because he has been having injury problems, and we all know that he just came in here to do the needful. And I doubt whether on the game of West Ham he'll start. I know he'll be on the bench, and if at all we get the job done, I see no need of him coming in through to play in the game of football concerning West Ham. I think he'll be reserved for the game of Liverpool away at Anfield. So when you look at that first goal, Rashford is fouled. Again, I think by clear and trip here. Uh, this guy. <coughs> Sorry about that. Luke Shaw wipes into that cross and obviously it turns into a goal by Casemiro header. Second goal, it's Rashford again. So it shows you like there is something about Rashford like onto our success this season, especially going forward because everything he touches turns into gold that is Marcus Rashford making it 2-0 for Manchester United six minutes later when United went ahead to score a goal and guys there is this man known as Lisandro Martinez in the first half he found himself colliding with Ban, and he almost had blood flowing through his hair through his hair meaning that he was really tackled and as if that was not enough in the 52nd minute of the game guess what happened you get Newcastle player goes in for his goes in for this ball and this foot of Carl Wilson finds himself almost on the head of Martinez and to to make it worse I saw Newcastle players trying to raise their hands reporting to the referee that it's supposed to be a penalty that Lisandro Martinez got hold of that ball and it wasn't Leon Trippier was arguing with the, with with assistant referee on the right on the right touchline that it was it is a penalty and i ask myself where in the world could this be a penalty yet to me i'm seeing even a foul because how can you go high how can you go high with your boots when the ball is really aerial and there is a player putting there his head and lisandro martinez was a hero and you are going to get to know much of me and lisandro martinez and how much i'm going to give him when it's going to come to what we call the player ratings down in my next video now i'm just showing you some bit of highlights and how things went down marcus rashford around the 74th minute we saw a player known as sabitza come on through for freddy when sabitza came on through there is the way he really slight tackled i think uh is it uh sean longstaff and he got that ball and released rashford you get rashford cut inside 
and went in for this shot and it was saved by Karius. That is the shot and how that's how beautiful it was. But it was a 25 yard shot from Marcus Rashford and it was a very good effort coming in from Sabitza. And this is how the this is how the goalkeeper really came to saving. That was the 74th minute and that is Rashford for you. So it shows you that Rashford was really on fire. And to me, I believe around here there was an opening of Sancho. I think wide. You get wide right. There was a player, was it Anthony, who was really calling in for that ball and Rashford went in for selfish effort. That's why I think that we need to be so much composed next time. We've won, but composure has to be always be called for in such moments because it's what takes us to the next level of really exposing our opponents and really beating them bad, according to me. Because you never know what exactly it's all going to be about. You get Rashford would have gone ahead to really pass this ball, according to me, but good enough, we won, but I think we will call for so much more. Then, Sabitza, after releasing Rashford three minutes later, in the 74th minute, he wired this short, and obviously, it was... It was really blocked, and obviously, it went into the corner kick, and a man on a mission, Sabitza, and it shows you the winning mentality that this guy has. A good shot on goal, he has an eye for goal. He has that release pass because he's good at really identifying those pockets of spaces left through by the opponents that we're playing with. And I believe he is really one of those players that we're going to benefit in a lot. And one thing we should pray for him is that he should start playing for, he should start playing alongside Casemiro. And I believe in the game of West Ham, he might start into that position with Casemiro and obviously see what that game of football is going to be like. So that is Sabitza. And lastly, our last effort of the day came in from Bruno Fernandes. It was a Scott McTominay ball steal from Ban and obviously released Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes ran until he reached the 18 yards box area. He sat down the first player and obviously went in for short, of which Sancho was really well placed and Sancho was really raising up his hands that please get me the ball and he went in for for a selfish effort or a solo effort then Karius looped it with his fist over the bar and it was a corner and I think it was one of the best saves because it was so close after him closing down and sitting down some good defender so it shows you that Bruno really had a chance to either get himself an assist in this game of football but he acted as a leader today and on that pitch he was really very very untouchable that is Bruno Fernandes for you but David De Gea also had some saves to pull out for Manchester United especially the best of all that really pushed out leave alone the other one that I showed you was that of uh, I think it was uh, was it St. Maxman going in for that effort and he really went ahead to really stop it and really tipped it into the other side of the area you see he went ahead to really stop it and it never went in through and that is David De Gea then they also had this effort that uh He's, the guy is called Murphy. Unleashed, he unleashed a thunderous strike from around 30 yards. David De Gea was rooted and he couldn't even make anything. He was just looking at the ball. And if at all it went through and it went to the back of the net, David De Gea would have done nothing because the ball just came swerving. It was swerving like this. It swerved past this post and it really went out begging in there for you and he was rooted and it was a very nice if and i believe at all our newcastle because it was if at all our newcastle it would have already come to my mind that i should start shooting from outside the tennis box area reason being united were solid united were solid and they never allowed them to get a clear-cut chance I don't remember Newcastle getting a clear-cut chance facing David De Gea. They are really so much solid. Casemiro was really shielding that back four. And that back four was really so much in on song. Every time they were really on song. And that partnership between David De Gea. Sorry, that partnership between Lisandro Martinez and Rafael Verani is really out of this world. And you would love to see these people continuing playing together. And lastly, let's talk about the battle between Dalo. Bisaka versus St. Maxman. Dalo, I think what really put him down was the yellow card he got, but I think Maxman just sat him down once, the first save that I showed you. Where is it? Here. This is when he sat him down. This is when he sat him down. But uh, Bisaka came in through and really closed him down, and 
he was even lacking oxygen. Bisaka sat, sat him down very well and he couldn't really manage to force himself back into this game of football. And Bisaka has gone ahead to make a record today. He has put in seven tackles. Seven tackles in a Carabao Cup, just in the Carabao Cup finale. And he just found himself beat Ngolo Kante because Ngolo Kante required uh, how many? 120 minutes to put up seven tackles in an entire Carabao Cup final, but Bissaka has gone ahead to put out seven in just 45 minutes. So guys, that was what the United 2 Newcastle was all about post-match analysis as we lift the trophy as Eric Ten Hag lifts his first trophy for Manchester United. Your reactions are welcome in the comment section below. Rock and David remains my name. I sign out for now. See you later. I'm returning with what the players have said after us winning. Eric Ten Hag reacts to Man United 2, Newcastle 0, Bruno Fernandes and Marcus Rashford. That's what I'm coming back with. May the Almighty God bless you abundantly. I sign out for now. See you later, my mates.